Patrick, how'd you characterize uh, your 600 par day today? It was it was a really good day out there. Um, I thought it was going to be maybe a little bit more difficult than it ended up being. Um, just at the start, the it was kind of overcast, a little cool, and a little breezy. Um, but when the sun came out, I felt like maybe there were some chances to score and get after the golf course a little bit. And I was fortunate to get on a nice run there on the back nine. And um, today's all about positioning, and I'm right there with a the chance tomorrow, which is uh, it's a really fun opportunity. Would you feel like you did best today? I rolled it nicely today, um, which is, is good. I mean, these surfaces are like putting on, on glass, like putting on a pool table. They're just phenomenal. And uh, it's, it's really a treat to putt on, the, on these surfaces. And so um, I felt like if I could just get them started online, I could start to see a lot go in. And it was nice to, uh, to do that today. Uh, we talked just a couple weeks ago, last week in Houston, actually. Jeez, mm -hmm. it seems like so long ago now. Um, the confidence that you're kind of carrying in, all the work that you and Jeff Smith have done, is this just kind of a kid? I know the weekend probably didn't go the way you obviously didn't go the way you'd like it to, but is this just that confidence you maybe had from the first couple of days carrying over into this week? Yeah, I was really um, just, I was trying to focus just on the present, uh, but also at the same time, I really wanted to finish the fall off the right way. Um, it had been a, a, a long fall with a lot of events, but I feel like I've been making good progress and I just wanted to continue that. Um, I felt, I feel like my game is good enough. My, my mentality is sharp enough to give myself chances to win. And, uh, I'm, I'm excited that I have another one tomorrow. What do you believe you have to do differently than maybe you did last week to hopefully hold the trophy tomorrow? Last week, I didn't adjust to the, the cold very well. Um, got off to a bad start on Saturday and, and was kind of out of the tournament fairly early on Saturday. So it'll be nice to, to be in the thick of it on, on a Sunday. Um, but it's the same thing. Uh, I got to control what I can control and really back myself, and, and I do. How much different is your kind of mental approach, your, your, kind of your mentality of how you go about things now than, say, maybe a year or so ago? Than a year or so ago. Um, a year or so ago, I, I just uh, kind of fought to get my card back. Um, it was a humbling experience. But I felt like uh, a year ago at this tournament, I had put together a nice fall and, and felt a lot more grounded in who I was as a PGA Tour player. Um, I, I feel incredibly settled in. I, I honestly feel like a veteran a bit out here at this point. Most of the time, I'm playing with guys who are younger than I am and with less experience. And so I'm going to try to lean on that tomorrow. Um, and I'm looking forward to the chance. Patrick, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it um, so much. Oh, well, Patrick, real quick. Um, I know you've been watching the birdies for love leaderboard. Mm -hmm. uh, you're pretty close to, uh, to the top. I think you're like one birdie off going into the final round. Just talk about your thoughts on that and what it would mean to to win that. Yeah, it's a really cool uh, initiative. It's at a great charitable organization. And I was fortunate enough to uh, to donate some money a few years ago at this tournament. And uh, I think it made a, it, a tremendous impact uh, in my community in Indianapolis. And uh, I've been following the leaderboard. I would love the opportunity to do it again. Um, and so just a little extra incentive to, to keep me aggressive tomorrow uh, on a day where, you know, at times up, up near the top, it's easy to play defensive. So I'm, I'm pumped that uh, my, my um, motivation is to make as many birdies as I can. That's great. And would the money go to the same place as it did three years ago? Or yeah, I'll have to sit down with my wife and, and figure out sort of the best way to, to allocate it. But like I said, it's a tremendous opportunity. It's an amazing organization. So I'd be honored to, to have some money to donate. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Patrick.